This program contains some material that many parents would not find suitable for children under the age of 14. Viewer discretion is advised. Some more Lord of the Rings figures. Um, oh, hey, ho, ho, ho. Popping everybody, we are back. Start of another week, so give you guys a little update. Uh, doing pretty good on the hashtag B Dub Fit Challenge, um, but I didn't get to the gym as frequently as I wanted to this week. But I've been doing a full week of eating clean, and let me tell you how much better I feel. Not putting any of that junk in my body. I don't feel as tired, as sluggish. So. Super excited about all that stuff. And again, guys, make sure you're following me and you're following Dub on Instagram and you're constantly using the hashtag BDubFit. We are going to be doing giveaways monthly, both of us, so make sure you stick around and uh, check that stuff out and, you know, join with us because, you know, it's, uh, it's fun. You know, it's a small little group, um, you know, everybody helping each other out, everybody supporting one another, you know, being there to lean on, you know, and, and you know, again, hold each other accountable. Accountability is the key word. Um, other than that, I got some cool stuff in the mail. Um, I got a box in from Whatnot. I also got a box in from a, uh, a box that I bought uh, from a uh, wrestling figure group on Facebook. So I'll show you guys that when I get home. Um, right now, I am here outside of Bits and Buttons because one of my goals for this year is I do want to try to complete the, um, the Hasbro figures. So I'm working on that right now. And what better place to start than here because I know they got a whole case full of them. So, uh, yeah, guys, let's go along. Let's have some fun and uh, let's have some fun on the hunt. So, let's go inside. All right, guys, we're here right now in front of the wrestling display. A uh, bunch of basics. Maybe, like, a couple of elites mixed in. I like how they got Evolution and they got the Four Horsemen. They got Brock and Angle and Dreamer. Uh, here's the Hasbros. We got some Hogan's Warriors, Bushwhackers. Got Ricky the Steamboat. We got Razor, Taker, Million Dollar Man. Um, I got Earthquake and uh, Typhoon a couple weeks ago. And then they have some of the newer ones that came out. He did have a, um, a Bret Hart in the case so I'm going to snag this Bret Hart because I know he's one of the harder ones to find um, I'm still looking for the Andre I haven't had any luck with that there's some graded ones there's Rick Steiner Greg the Hammer Valentine Crush Kamala there's a Giant Gonzalez and Repo Man he's got an on-card flair which looks really good but I don't know if I want to spend that um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's so many choices to choose from. Here's some Series 5 AEW that he's got. Um, some Elites. And a couple of UFCs fixed in, uh, in there. Um... We got the uh, Romans, Christians, some other basics. What's up, Arch? Is that series two there? That's a series two, right? That's series, yeah, that's series two. Oh, that one series, the series, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. See? Pace, pace to know somebody that's knowledgeable, right? That's right. <laughs> we got Keith Lee. We got Liv. There's the, uh, the Shinsuke Chase. He's got some other cool stuff up top. Bad Bones, WrestleMania, Lethal Ladder Match. Got Bone Crunching Buddies. Oh, here's a Titan Tron Taz. That's cool. Uh, yeah, let's see what's over here. Oh, we got some pops over here. Here's some Legos. Anything new in the Legos? Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't see anything really new, Lego-wise. However, they did get this badass premium format um, Spider-Man symbiote statue in. 
you guys can see this thing is pretty freaking epic so and it's cool too because one of the cool things now that a lot of people don't know is that they're actually starting to carry sideshow stuff now which is fantastic um, because they're not gonna you know Tate's isn't gonna be the only game in town for hot toys now so now I can come here get hot toys too so makes it even better hot toys so that's always fun um, got some build a figures in the case and some loose figures got Bishop Shang-Chi Green Lantern some Eternals got Ursa Major we got Beast we got Jekyll we got Stiltman got Black Widow Hawkeye Gladiator Thor Iron Man's got, a, got that Venom statue and the Red Hulk statue so all right um, let me keep looking around I'll let you know if I find anything else but you're definitely snagging this Bret Hart so here's some transformer stuff it looks like he's got some newer stuff in some wheel jacks some tracks uh, Scorpinox Huffer Air Razor he's got this premium finish war for Cybertron Prime in the Scourge and Thrust and he's got the uh, the Autobot Arc which is kind of cool um, and then here's the Transformers vintage case, which is cool. So there's a there's a Prime right there. There's a Bumblebee, Blitzwing, Soundwave, three zero figures, which are awesome. Uh, he's got the uh, Devastator statue still. I'm surprised that thing is still sitting there, man, because that thing is freaking badass. Um, oh, he's got Mumra's Lair, which is really cool. That's sweet. Um, all right, um, I think that's about it here for me. Um, I don't see anything new to show off to you guys. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna snag this Bret Hart and uh, figure out where I'm gonna go next and I'll see you guys when we get there. But however, I do wanna talk to you more about these Hasbros, so stick around and hang tight. All right, so I just left bits and buttons. So very excited about that Bret Hart Hasbro. Now, the significance behind that is not the Bret Hart, just the Hasbros in general. Because if you guys watch the room tour, you guys know that that was, those were the first wrestling figures I had as a kid growing up. And again, I just remember all the good times I had of just sitting there and playing and playing with the ring and having fun and making all my matches, you know, having an imagination like a kid, like a kid should have. So, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun to see all these again to get them back in my collection um i'm not like super picky about them because i know a lot of them are hard to find um i mean i do want them in obviously the best condition i can find them in but i'm not going to be uh you know picky about it um i don't want them on card because i want to display them um you get on card and then you're, you're already talking like hundreds of dollars i mean you know you guys saw some of the graded ones back there i mean even even that rick flair on car on card the card wasn't in the best of shape but you know it was it was buku mux you know you're you're cre creeping into hot toy territory at that point um so again i'm not going to be a stickler about having them on card but i do I do like the fact of having them, it brings me happiness and you know, it's not something that just gives me instant gratification, which is something that we've talked about before, where you know, I just buy something, I have it for a few minutes and then I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Now I look at these things and every time I look at them, they just, you know, they make me happy and that's the way stuff in your collection should make you feel. It should give you the feels, it should bring you back to a better time in your in your life. Obviously, any, any toy is gonna bring you back to a better point in your life because that's we didn't have any responsibilities we didn't have bills we didn't have children we didn't have mortgages you know we didn't have car payments or jobs you know we didn't have anything to worry about all we had to do was just wake up go to school and you know play with our toys and that was it you know and just be good kids so you know again that's why I enjoy these Hasbro's I I'm gonna try my damnedest to get them all this year this is a goal of mine that I want to really really try to achieve um you know i have all i think i have all of series two with the exception of dusty roads and i have all of series one with the exception of andre the giant now andre the giant has been one of the more tougher ones to track down um i've seen a couple on ebay but it's like missing an arm missing a leg or the paint is just really bad so i keep constantly watching auctions on whatnot obviously you know dominic 
no, at Bits and Buttons knows if he comes across one, he's going to put one aside for me because we've had that conversation. So, uh, yeah. But that that's the whole deal with the Hasbros. That, that's one thing I really, really want to achieve this year. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's what we're looking forward to. Also, next Sunday, which is the 16th, um, I guess in Puente Gorda, um, it's over on uh, Mike's side of the uh, Mike's side of the state. There's a toy show, and uh, me and Mike and uh, Slap Happy will be there. Um, maybe George might be there. So we're gonna have some stuff for sale. We have some tables that we got, and uh, we're also gonna look around the show, see if we can find anything cool. But for the most part, we're gonna be selling some stuff because I gotta make room to start displaying all my wrestling stuff. I've got AEW figures upon AEW figures to get unboxed. I've also got WWE Ultimates that I want to get unboxed. Well, I don't know if I want to unbox those because those are kind of expensive. I don't know if you guys pay attention to the prices on that, but that, that stuff has gone up like drastically. So I might have to go and do and purchase um, another set just so I can keep in box and, and out of box. So uh, we'll just have to see where that goes. But right now I'm back in the car, obviously. Um, I'm headed to Tate, so I wanna see if they got any new Hot Toys in. And uh, I also have a coupon from there because my birthday is this month. My birthday's at the end of the month. And uh, they gave me like a 20% off coupon. So I wanna go use my coupon, see if they have anything good that I wanna purchase. Maybe an Iron Patriot? <laughs> no, that ain't happening. So, all right guys, let's go to Tate's and I'll see you when I get there. Guys, so we're here right now outside of Tate's. We're gonna go inside, but I'm gonna not lie to you guys. I hate flying solo on hunts. Um, I wish I had more people to talk to. I wish my friends were here, but you know, everybody's got schedules to keep. So uh, yeah, let's go inside and see if they got anything. There's some lightsabers in the Star Wars section. They got Mandalorian. They got uh, a Novos uh, Stormtrooper helmet. They got some old school vehicles. Uh, let's see, we got Mary Jade. Got our General Grievous Lego set. There's Jabba. Uh, there's a C3PO mask. Got some keychains, it looks like. There's Chewbacca. Indiana Jones does not belong in the section. Just saying. Uh, let's see what else they got. There's Baby Yoda. Get some more sideshow figures. There's a Coruscant guard, Boba Fett, uh, Finn, First Order Snowtrooper. They got a Commander Cody in. They got a uh, Shore Trooper Squad Leader, Scout Trooper, Lando, Lando, Mando's, Lando, Lando, Mando. <laughs> got Luke, got Jawa, got a Shore Trooper, which looks actually pretty dope. And there's a uh, IG-11. And they got a whole bunch of stuff over here and they got more of the boxes over here so uh, and there's some of the model kits that George likes to get so let's keep walking here's uh, some DC stuff that oh, this is cool proof that Tony Stark has a heart that's pretty cool I like that Here's some loose figures. Anything interesting? This cap, Thor, uh, Thanos, got Punisher. It's a basic Brock. It's kind of funny to see Brock in the Marvel section. Um, Here's some Diamond Select figures. There's some more Marvel stuff. Um, it's the Mark III. Got Grandmaster and Korg. Got some Toy Biz. So, all right. Uh, let me see. I think that's about it. So, all right. I do want to make my way over to the Hot Toy section because they did get a new Hot Toy in, and you guys are going to get a good laugh. So, just bear with me. Hey, look who's back. It's Robert Cop. <laughs> oh, we had a good laugh at that one. It's funny. Robert Cop. Uh, let's see. Anything else good? They got Planet of the Apes, Rocketeer, uh, Indiana Jones, 
Ron Burgundy. I got the uh, Cobra Kai box set. I got that though. Uh, here's some of the starting lineup figures. Here, oh, that's cool. Got that badass Popeye piece right there. They got some six scale horror figures in. So there's Freddy, Jason, uh, Texas Chainsaw. There's another Friday the 13th. It's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre statue or quarter scale figure, it looks like. It's a quarter scale Freddy. So. For all you horror people, some pretty cool stuff. Oh, that's cool. Edward Scissorhands. They got some of the Matrix figures. That's pretty cool. So, all right. But most importantly, now we're gonna make our way over to the Hot Toy section. So, hang tight. This is gonna this is gonna get fun. So, obviously, by the time this hunt video comes out, you would have not have seen another video yet because it comes out later in the week. But I did pre-record a. Um, collector shot with uh, Josh the other day and me and him were talking about like duplicates of hot toys and things like that and he was telling me that he got the battle damaged Thanos in that just came out from Endgame and I was like yeah I was like I have the original one and you know I don't see a need to have two of the same character but now <laughs> now I'm, I'm, I'm kind of laughing at myself and this is where it gets funny so here's the Thanos that I have and then now here's the battle damage Thanos and battle damage Thanos I'm not gonna lie looks a lot better than the regular Thanos and it's got that awesome rock base which is pretty freaking badass so what I might do is might grab this and then in turn sell that because this one is just freaking all kinds of epic awesomeness so I'm, I'm laughing right now because it's like I just went through this where I said I wasn't going to buy duplicates. But it's okay, though, because, like I said, I would buy the battle damage one and then I'll go ahead and I'll sell the, the regular Thanos. So it'll it'll offset each other. Um, but, God, it's like I hate when they do that, when they put one out and then there's another they release another one and the newer one looks better than the other one. So it's like I hate that crap. I hate when they do that. Um they also got Thor in, but I already got Thor. They've got Professor Hulk, and they've got Rescue. Uh, do I want Rescue? I don't need any more Iron Mans, though. I don't need any more Iron Mans, though, but damn, freaking Rescue is really nice. And it's Pepper, but we already got rid of Pepper. I don't know. I'm in a tough spot right now. I mean... And here's the Iron Patriot again. But, yeah. That thing is cool, man. But, I, yeah. I just, I don't know. Um, all right. Let me let me think about what I'm going to do. And, obviously, I will let... Oh, see? Camera's being stupid. All right. Let me take a, continue to take a look around. I'm going to think about what I'm going to do. Uh, right now, I'm heavily, heavily leaning towards Thanos. So... All right, let me figure it out, and one way or another, you'll see what happens. There will be a hot toy being purchased. I'm just not sure which one, so stay tuned. And just like that, we have our first hot toy purchase of the year. Battle damaged Thanos. Yeah, this thing was just too epic to pass up. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to give you guys a better look at that when I get home. And then also, if anybody's looking for the non-battle damaged version of Thanos, I will be posting that up for sale. <laughs> So, all right, guys, uh, let me figure out where I'm going to go next, and I will see you guys once I, got, once I get there. I mean, it's just great, though. We, got, we purchased our first Hot Toy of the Year. Hot Toys! Hot Toys have been purchased! So, all right, let me get on the road and figure out where I'm going to go. All right, guys, we are here right now outside of a Walmart. We're going to go inside and see what they got. So, uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's probably the same old crap I see every time I go in here. I mean, every once in a while we'll catch a break and we'll see something new. So that's what I'm hoping for. So let's go check it out. So the other reason I'm here at Walmart, too, is because I need to pick up plastic cups. Because Jan's coming over in a little bit and we're going to be watching uh, Battle of the Belts. AEW, yeah! So, uh, got to get some plastic cups for things like, hey, we need some cups. 
And I'm like, okay, well, I'll stop and get some cuts. I'm out hunting anyway, so why not? Um, all right, let's walk to the toy aisle. We're almost there. Let's see. All right, let's flip the camera around. All right, so here we are. We got Beast Wars, Cobra Hiss, uh, Optimus Primal, Turbo Man, Cheetor and Rat Trap, Scorpinox, RC. Uh, they got some of the TVs. We got uh, Lando, G.I. Joe, Eternals, uh, Cyclops. Let's see what else we got. Got King Shazam, bunch of the demons. Uh, we got some Mission Fleet. Here's some uh, Fantastic Four. We got Ghostbusters. Uh, got some Leos. There's Sonic. Uh, I think that's it. Here's some He-Man stuff. Got some Elites. Here's some AEW. We got Sheeta, Jake Hager, Ray Phoenix, Jake Hager, Penta, uh, some MJF. That is really about it. Wah! All right. I can see how this is going to go while we're here. So, all right. Let's go make our way over to the NECA Funko section. Guys, we're here at the NECA Funko section. Here's some pops. We got Michelangelo, Babu Frick. There's the Carnage. We got some of the gingerbread ones. Got some of the office stuff. Uh, let's see. And yeah, they got some of the gold figures, some fig pins. We got some Lord of the Rings stuff, the Mortal Kombat 2 pack. Uh, there's some more Lord of the Rings figures. Um, oh, hey, ho, ho, ho. Is it Turtle Time? Got Hamato Yoshi and Ar Rokosaki. There's two of them. There you go. Uh, there's many faces of Pennywise. They got Goliath. They got this uh, Jason, which is kind of cool looking, all the different portraits. That's actually kind of cool, even though I'm not a horror guy. But yeah, seeing Hamato Yoshi and uh, Rokosaki 2 packs. All right, well, come with me on a journey as I go find plastic cups now. So was plastic cups the only thing we needed? Are you 100% sure? Okay, then I will grab plastic cups. All right, I will see you shortly. All right, bye. So I did that for a reason. Not only did I document that for a reason, and I'm sure most men that are watching this that have significant others can relate to this, where your wife, your girlfriend, your fiance, whatever you got, messages you and says, hey, I need you to pick something up from the store. You go, you pick it up from the store, you come back home, and then she's like, oh, what's the matter? You couldn't call to see if we needed anything else? Well, why didn't you just text me if you needed anything else? Or just called me and let me know in the first place. Oh, well, I figured you would have called and asked and been courteous. Yeah, no, see? She, see, she's calling me back. See? I knew it. Yes. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Okie dokie. I'll see you shortly. Bye. Point noted and taken. There you go, guys. So she just called. She needed something else. See? It's like clockwork. Like clockwork. All right. I'm going to grab some cups. I got to make one more stop, and then I'll see you at the next place. All right, guys. I am here at my last stop of the day. I am here right now outside of Target. And uh, same thing as Walmart. We're gonna go inside, see if they got anything new in. And uh, maybe the shelves got restocked. I mean, who knows, anything's possible. But uh, yeah, let's see if anything new came in. Again, you gotta, you got you know, high hopes. All about being positive. 2022, the year of positivity. All right, let's go inside. As we're down the figure out right now, here's a bunch of Age of Apocalypse Wave and Magneto Rogue 
and Cyclops seem to be the peg warmers, unless those are the only ones they got in. Uh, here's Crow. We got Storm, Silver Surfer, Iron Man, Electra, US Agent, Blue Stealth, Iceman. Uh, we got Mobius, some Power Rangers, G.I. Joe Classified. Uh, we got Megatron, uh, Paleo Trex, Wing Finger. There's Blight, uh, Earth 2 Batmans, Unmasked Thomas Wayne, Cyborg, Wonder Woman. Uh, let's see what's on the other side. Uh, we got John Hammonds, the Indoraptor. Uh, Camp Adventure set. That's a new one. Oh, here's the uh, infamous Big Dub Toy Story packaging, which I love that because, again, that is Big Dub. Uh, got some Mirrorverse. Got Minions. Oh, look at that. They got smart and repackaged the LeBrons and put protectors on there to make sure that no one could take LeBron's head. We got a whole bunch of He Man stuff, but that seems to be the reoccurring theme. What is that? <clears throat> this is half off. Faker's half off. We got Panther and Battle Cat. That's half off. Oh, here you go. Battle Cat it was $40. Now it's $20. We got Landos. Uh, Jawas. Um, here's some AW. We got uh, Sheeta, Santana, Ray Phoenix, Hager, Ortiz. Got The Rock and Cena. Got Garza. We got Gronk, Piper, a bunch of Braves. So nothing new on that end. All right, well, only one thing left to do, and you know it, check out the NECA Funko section. We're at the NECA Funko section right now. Here's a bunch of anime stuff, some Spawn. Looks like we got a Black Series figure over here. We got Aurora Sing. Uh, some Stranger Things. Migos. Oh, look at this. Got the Ninja Turtle Funko shirt. Turtle Power. Got an extra large. Got a large. That's cool. Got a whole bunch of them. Jesus. I got the Cobra Kai. Got there's the art ones. We got masked peacekeepers and unmasked. Oh, that's cool. We finally got a new uh, new guy. We got the Riddler. It's cool. Got Batman, Robin. Those uh, Jingle All the Way pops. Uh, got some Infinity Saga pops. Got a Boba Pet Boba Fett mini backpack. Here's the uh, Madam Web Funko shirt. Uh, let's see, it's the office stuff. There's Wally's Eva, Eva. We got frogs. We got chrome domes. Uh, we got some Toonie Terrors. Aliens, King Kong. And that seems to be about it. So, uh, yeah, all right, well, I'm going to get my car now, head home. Um, I'll give you guys a look at the Hasbro Bread Heart I picked up, the Thanos I picked up, and then also open up those two packages I got. Again, one I bought from a Facebook group, the other one I got from Whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you back home shortly, and I'm sure that was my phone going off with the thing. Where are you? You need to get home with those cops. I'm on my way. Hmm. All right, guys, and we are back home. So let's go over what we picked up. Um, starting out at bits and buttons, um, we were able to go and pick up Brett the Hitman Heart. So a little few scuffs on it, but overall um, pretty clean. So this will go nicely now with the rest of the Hasbro collection. Um, there were other ones that I wanted, but... You know, again, I want to try to finish um, Series 1 and Series 2 before I start diving into the other series. I kind of want to get them in order. That way it makes it a lot easier and I'm not just jumping around. Um, you know, obviously if I see one that I know that's hard to find, 
I'll snag it like Brett. Like you don't see Brett come up that often, so I had to had to snag Brett. Um, then we went obviously to uh, Tate's, and you know what happened at Tate's. <clears throat> so we wound up getting the battle damaged uh, Thanos. So I plan on doing a boxing and review on this. So this is awesome, and like I said, um, I'll probably wind up selling my other my other Thanos so we'll see what happens uh see what happens with that but uh yep we got battle damage Thanos so I can't wait to get this one out of the box this thing's gonna be awesome then I told you guys that I got packages in from uh uh whatnot and a Facebook group buy so let me show you the whatnot stuff so I got <clears throat> two figures in um one I got the uh ultimate warrior uh, legend series so the reason I wanted this is because it's a suit and it's an elite and you can do some customization with this if you guys have other wrestlers that you want to put um you know their head on a suit so like this would be good for like like a Ric Flair or like a Triple H you know or, or Batista somebody that wore suits you know just to give it that that effect but this is pretty cool so that's kind of like the reason why I kind of snagged it because I wanted to try something like that um, then the other one I got was actually the Macho King Randy Savage Elite, which this one is just super cool and there's all kinds of nostalgia to this one. So we got that, which is the Hall of Fame one, which is really cool. So, oh yeah, the Macho Man. So, Macho. Then last but certainly not least, um, there's a lot of... Uh, wrestling groups on Facebook that do buy selling and trading you know BST groups so somebody had a item up there in one of the groups that I've been looking for for a while because it goes and coincides with the with the Hasbro's but the thing about that is it's not like the it's for the original you know it's not for the original ones it's for the newer ones that they do so I went and I got this um, let's open this up right now so <clears throat> Because I can't, I can't find the older one, and if you do find the older one, it's worth like stupid money. So the original retro ring is like buku bucks, that one and the King of the Ring one. So it's like I had to, I had to come up with an alternative plan for that. So here is the newer one that came out a couple of years ago, and I got a really good price on this. So what I can do with this is that I can actually put the um, the Hasbro's in here and display it like that. So. Uh, that's pretty cool in my opinion. I mean, I think this is really cool. You know, it goes, like I said, it goes inside with the Hasbro's. You can fit them inside the ring. So that's that's pretty cool. So I'm glad I picked this up. I got this at a good deal. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much the haul. All right, guys, and that is going to wrap up a, another hunt video for this week, guys. Also, do not forget, we are continuing on our path of hashtag BDubFit. So make sure you're continuing along with that. If you guys want to join in, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook, me and uh, Big Dub. You, you know, tag us and stuff. You use the hashtag BDubFit. Um, I'm going to have to get with Brian and we're going to have to figure out because um, he wants to do a giveaway. I want to do a giveaway at the end of the month. So and we're going to be doing giveaways periodically throughout this whole thing. Um, so maybe uh, I think he said he was going to do his giveaways through Instagram, I think, which is the same way that I'm going to do it. And maybe what we'll do is that maybe I'll talk to him and we'll go live together and then all you guys could come in from both ends and then, um, you know, we can do the giveaway then. So I'll have to get with him on that. But again, guys, it's not a competition. It's about promoting health, mental health, um, being there to support one another and holding each other accountable to make sure that you're following through on you know, the stuff that you want to do, whether it's you want to stop smoking, you want to stop drinking, you want to lose weight, you just want to become a better person in general, have at it, you know? That's what we're there for. We're here to support one another. So, yeah, guys, so with that being said, if you like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. As always, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another episode of What's Popping gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content we always offer right here at MCE. And until next time, guys, that's what's popping.